Fuck yeah, let's do it, part four. Uh, what was I doing? I was fucking shit up. What is this mission? Rear side, okay, uh... Uh... I... What are you doing? Sorry, Finn was doing stuff. Let's see, enemy battle strength is zero, god destroyed, own mobile suit destroyed, allied MS on standby. Attack, enemy, okay. Why is this one, like, flashy? What's the point of this one? Attack the Federation's marine transport route. Big and uh, destroy enemy transport units. Be careful of the escorting mobile suits. Okay. Okay, fuck it. Let's, uh, I kind of want to do this one first because it just got a red outline. I'm not too sure why, but let's fucking do it. Select mobile suits. Okay. Uh, fuck, I don't. Okay, so I'm in the Grand Canyon. Could go with Sneaky Boy, but he doesn't have sneaky skills in this game, big sad. Uh, I don't know. I'm like fucking out of it today, gentlemen. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, big news. I had a, a blowout today. I think it's a blowout. I don't really. Like, I'm probably just ran something fucking over and lost a tire, but I gotta take it in uh, tomorrow. So that's big sad. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Old school music is always good. Today was dragon ass. I don't know about you guys, but Jesus hell. Like, why? Like, I don't understand. Yesterday, it went by pretty quick. Really smooth. Uh, except for today. Today, nope. Shit's on a bad metal. Fucking just like... Ugh. No, sit down. Your beam rifle won't shoot through my rockets. Oh, what the fuck? You get back here. His shield really tanked that fucking bazooka shot. That's just like you go. Ouch. It sounds like the Zaka, two, uh, Zaka one got hit. I heard the th 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 <laughs> Man, everybody's shield is like tanky as fuck. Oh. Kinda like the way it runs with the, the how it's got its shield. So that's, a, that's one thing I wish that would happen in GBO, like, this game is still pretty fucking loud even though I got like a 5%. But, uh, the one thing I wish that would happen in GBO would be, uh, depending on the weapon you t take, uh, it would change the way the suit would hold its shield. I think that would be pretty cool. So, I'm thinking about getting a Master Grade High Zack, and I've already got several ideas, and I just don't know how to initiate them. Uh, uh, I got a couple of fucked up models, like the J-Type Zaku, where, uh, completely my fault, I, I put a piece in wrong, and I cannot connect the hip and the, uh, the hip and the, uh, chest together, so, it's functionally, it's a fucked up model. So, and I can't take it apart, cause, I don't know, it just doesn't want to come loose. So, uh... I'm going to take its leg missile pods, and that's going to be mounted on the shoulder shield of the, uh, of the, uh, Isaac, because I think that would be cool. But I also have that gym ground, uh, the gym sniper that I have with the 6-2 missile pod, because it, the gym sniper also comes with all the weapons the sniper, the, the standard gym ground type takes, so I kind of want to give give it the 6-2 missile pod, but take the missile pods, the sections themselves, and find a way to put them on the mobile suit. I think that would be really neat. I just don't know how to do it. Uh, some some people say use magnets, but I've never dealt with magnets before, like any for like model-wise anyway, so I think that would be pretty neat to do. The mission was boring. Let's go, you go, let's go into the, yeah, let's go to the Himalayas. Gotta kill some folk. Gotta kill them. 
<laughs> just take one of these guys and be like that dumb scene from uh, Bill Fighter's Try where the Marine crew couldn't get up under the ice. So like, they're not even pun like okay, so they're stuck above the ice. Okay, I'm gonna poke some flaws into their their logic, right? They they're stuck above the ice. Each one of their suits has mega particle cannons. Why not just shoot into the ice? Blow a hole through it. Get access to the water. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't want to be that guy, but I'm just saying, I think I think that's a workaround they could have done. I'm going to throw that one out there. I mean, hell, they had a Zock. He has four mega particle cannons looking right at the ice. Blow it away. Shoot him. Shoot the ice. Don't just fucking self-destruct, you idiot. Like, that type of stupid shit. Like, and I, I really don't. I really don't like the uh, build fighters. Uh, di build divers uh, re rise. I'm not a fan. Like, why are there furries in my Gundam? <laughs> not like I don't like. You, you're a furry, you do you, but, like, I'm just gonna say, like, I don't understand, I don't understand it, it's not my thing, but it's just, like, there's no reason for it and to be in Gundam, because it's never, like, wow, these guys really got some pops, but it's just, like, it's just, I don't know, it makes no sense to me, it really, like, there's never been anything like that until, like, the, the Diver series, which, ugh. And like a lot of the time, the divers' mobile suits are kind of like trash. Uh, I don't like the designs whatsoever. Uh, the only thing that I really cared about anything in that series was the fact that there was a uh, an Alex with the camphor shotgun for you know whatever reason. But hey, you do you. You want to go towards the enemy? But it just I don't know. Like it, that is not like. Divers was no. Now, Build Fighters, Build Fighters a Try, and that, like the original Build Fighters, yeah, I like it. It's pretty good. But Divers, mm, really not tickling my funny bone whatsoever. Uh, I haven't seen a design that I really like off the top of the bat, except for the one Zaku one that was in Divers. Uh, the only one I really liked because he had a goofy uh, Gatling gun shield. That was the only reason I liked anything in that show. Wait, what happened to our uh, teammate with the Zaku 2 Magella? I mean, the Magella top one. I guess he fucked off and I got a goof. Anywho. But yeah, no, that's the really only thing in Divers I really cared for was the Zaku one with the, the goof ca uh, custom Gatling shield because that's, that's something I would do. Ow. But no, it's definitely not... <laughs> what the fuck type of swing was that? But it's just... I don't know. It's not tickling me. It really isn't. Uh, that's. I'm pretty sure that's why they didn't get like multi-part series... I mean, a multi-seasonal uh, thing for... Uh, divers. It's because no one really cared for divers. Like, you had multi multiple arcs and... Uh, build oh fuck build fighters but you didn't really have multiple arcs and uh fuck you and your goddamn cannons buddy but you didn't really have any multi uh marks and uh fucking what do they call it divers and it's just kind of funny like you got you had i think you had two and that was it only two and it only lasted like what 15 20 episodes and it was di disappointing the entirety of the time I don't know, like, mm, I've seen two episodes, the first two episodes, I, I'm gonna watch it till the end, but it's just like, okay, my least favorite character is the guy in the Justice Knight Gundam, like, okay, you took all the bad things about both those suits and made it into one, you didn't take anything that was good, with the exception of the lance, but then he doesn't use it, he shoots from it, doesn't seem like he strikes anybody with it, like, uh. He's fucking trash. Like, he... He's what makes me hate it. Next to the stupid little fucking kid. 
He's got this dragon mobile suit, and instead of aiming, he just wildfires it. Oh, I don't know how to do this. You'll look at the enemy. You're a fucking dragon with a head. So where you're looking is where your gun, uh, Gunpla's head is looking. Then you pull the trigger. You shoot fire. That explodes. Ugh, show, that, that, that show. Hot garbage. To me, it is hot garbage. Not having a, I don't, I don't really like it. And hopefully, it'll have some redeeming qualities. But as right now, for two episodes in, I'm not liking it. Not, it's nothing noticeable to me. It's, I don't know. I really don't know what else to say about it. Like, instead of like, I don't like it. Get off my, uh, do you mind? I just don't like it. Like, uh, I remember back in the day watching Mobile Fighter G Gundam. Like, they said, hey, see you back for Gundam for Fight 14. Never happened. Biggest fucking lie of my life. Because Mobile Fighter G Gunna was my second series, technically. But it's the series I remember the most because I was old, old enough to remember it. Uh, really liked it. But, like, my very first series was uh, for Gundam First, which is, you know, the one year war. That was my very first uh, anime. But I was, like, a fucking wee lad. I was just a tater tot. I was. A fucking mini school of salt at the moment, so. Uh, now that I remember, like, I'm old enough, I can, like, I know what's what, and it's just like, fuck. But, like, they, I remember, oh no! <laughs> the Zeon's elbow does never work. <laughs> but, like, th that was my first series, that, uh, but, like, the one I could remember the most was G Fighter. And, it will always hold a special place in my heart, just for the fact that, like, it was so, it was so, I don't know, Mobile Fighter G Gun was like so goddamn stupid, but it was the good kind of stupid, like, it was the type of stupid, like, I could get behind this. Uh, Sai Saishi's, uh, uh, theme song when he fell in love with, uh, Mermaid Gundam's, uh, little sister, I thought that was a, an adorable little thing, thing going on between them, even though he had to fight her, uh, fight him. And, uh, the, the song that was played, I don't know the name of it, and I don't know really know what to type into Google to get it to find it for me, but I really like it. It's kind of catchy. Uh, my least favorite Gundam fighter was, uh, Francis, uh, I don't remember his name off the top of my head, uh, but I, I can tell you right now, I really liked, uh, of course, Amer uh, Maxter Gundam due to the fact, you know, America! Uh, that dude was such a hoe. A man hoe. I don't care what anyone says. He was. You can't argue that fact, but he, you know, you know he was doing some things with them ladies 100% of the time. If they weren't working on the Magster Gundam, they'd be doing it. That is my favorite fucking move in this game. I think it looks better with the axe out, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 100% looks better. Oof. Come here. I gotta kill you with, uh, I swears. Let me hit you with Zeon's, uh, elbow. Yay! <laughs> it never works. Except for that one time. <laughs> okay. I gotta stop digging around. He's gonna kill me. Get him, Dom. Okay, good. Yeah, that's what I get for dicking around. But yeah, no, like, the the final stand between, uh, Maxter Gundam and France, uh, the friend, uh, French, uh, Gundam Rose, when they were fighting, uh, oh, what's his nuts? That big fuck-off Gundam. Grand Gundam, I think it was called. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I remember that one. And, uh... Jesus, that was one hell of a fight because it's just like you see a lot of like you see them get fucked <laughs> Not in a good way. This is not a 
<coughs> a consensual fucking, this is like, this is what you would call the police for. <laughs> I'm not even, not even playing, but like, damn. So, <coughs> hey, Zach. Uh, <laughs> he's so big. But yeah, no, like, it, it's crazy, like, and then I felt like the fight between, uh, oh, uh, when Alan B was taken over by the berserk system and, uh, the devil, uh, devil gun themselves, I thought, uh, the, I thought that was pretty cool, like, uh, no, it wasn't, uh, it was, uh, fuck, what, what is, uh, who was it, Ro, uh, no, god damn it, rain, there we go. When that their fight, when you got had you had a uh, rising, no, yeah, rising Gundam, there. I thought that was fucking amazing, especially when. Uh, oh jeez. Okay, so that. Oh, what's up with the special music? But yeah, no, that fight was pretty cool. I thought because it was just like, here, let me clamp onto your fucking arm here with my Gundam that has teeth, and uh, get fucked, and uh, you know just chew on it while you charge up a, a fucking, for whatever reason, a plasma launching, a, a plasma launching a bow and arrow, because that makes fucking sense. <laughs> it's just, oh boy. So, like, that just made, like, the action was pretty good. Hyper mode, uh, I feel like, yeah, Burning Gun was cool, but, like, the, like, I don't know, like the parts that the sections off that in the and shining gun looked really cool. How everything would lift up and all that, and shine, uh, burning Gundam or quote unquote God Gundam technically. I feel like it just looked uh, kind of low compared to the shining Gundam because uh, no fuck you. Oh my God, these gun tanks. Why? Why you do this? Uh, I don't know, it just looked a little cooler on Shining Gun due to the fact that the faceplate opens up and all these other things are going on with the shine, uh, Shining Gun. I mean, God Gun, really, the only thing that really happens is that his forearm grips or forearms move down a little bit to cover its hands. Ooh, execution style. Get shit on. Uh, the yeah, forearms move down, cover the hands, and the wings open up. And that's really about it. And he does go gold, but meh. <laughs> and like, don't want to always pull like attacks out of his ass if you guys never noticed that. Like, all the time. Attack, enemy transport, you know, cripple the enemy supply lines, beware of enemy reinforcements, destroy enemy transplants. Okay. 15 Medeas destroyed. Okay. But, uh, I don't know, like, there's a. Oh. Uh, I don't know. My brain's not functioning right now. I'm still a little irked that my fucking tire blew out. Big set on that. You're gonna have to take it in tomorrow before you head into work. <sighs> Finn's over there laying. All sleepy shit. Hopefully I can do this mission in the goddamn Zaku 2. I mean Zaku 1. I don't see why not. I got my beautiful, uh... Got a beautiful Zaku 1. Gonna shit all on that Zaku. Oh fuck, he's moving quick. Gotta get behind it. Gotta get behind it. Eat a eat a bazooka shot, bitch. Uh, get fucked. Right, that other one's coming around, so I might as well go for it. Nope, fuck you. Yay! Thank you, Arkai. You're a real you're a real friend. I'm just gonna stay in this area. You can you can go and fuck that guy up. Oh fuck! I don't want no part of that. Sit down. Nope. Fuck you. Ouch! Oof! My rear ends. <clears throat> this is what you get. Nope. But yeah, no, like I don't know. There's a lot of like. Everybody has, like, the greatest fucking heart on for IBO, and I don't know why, like... It was... The main character, Mikazuki, or whatever his fucking name is... He is one of the most blandest main characters in the Gundam series I've ever had the misfortune of knowing. All his... All his... 
his mode of attack is charge the enemy and hit him with a big fuck off item. That's it. And to me, that's boring. Like, yeah, he gets this 300 millimeter smooth bore cannon mounted or whatever the uh, little guns on his forearms were, but it's just like. Meh, and I don't care for the design of the Barbatos whatsoever, and no, and I don't really like any of its upgrades either, because I don't know, the claws look kind of dumb, like why is this fucking mobile suit got claws? I mean, I understand if it's like, if the thing was a marine-based mobile suit, where plasma-based weaponry didn't work, but like, come on. <clears throat> I don't know. IBO, like, a lot of the IBO designs were just fucking stupid. Here, here's this armor, yeah? Yeah, it looks really cool. What's it supposed to be? It's Neo Laminate. Okay, what does that mean? It doesn't affect, it doesn't get affected by, uh, it doesn't get affected by, uh, plasma weapon whatsoever. Yeah, but it has one weakness. It can get fucking shattered by, like, anything else. Oh. Oh, why would you want, like, okay, so why, why have that armor then? Like, I, like, plasma weaponry isn't exactly all that hard because it's a thin beam, to be honest. I mean, like, so you're, you're really giving up what most other weapons use, the slug weaponry, a weakness to that. That doesn't make no fucking sense to me. To me, that's dumb. If anything, like, I, even though I hate seed... They have some of the best armor. Like, here, let me turn on this armor, and it just negates fucking physical attacks, essentially. That's kind of cool. That is. I don't know how it works, because I don't remember. I watched Seed, the entire series of Seed, once, and I put it away. I've never watched it again. Because I don't like any of the characters in Seed, because most of the characters are fucking idiots. Like, I dislike most of the characters in, uh, uh... Actually, a lot of the Gundam characters I kind of hate. Uh, especially fucking Riddy, as you guys know. <laughs> Riddy, that fucking piece of shit. He, he is a baby due to the fact that Maneva didn't like him. That's the only reason he went out of his way to fuck up anybody that, uh, Benanger, or however the hell you want to pronounce that guy's name, uh, tried to save. That's the only reason, because he couldn't get his dick wet with fucking, uh, a Maneva. So, like, we were talking about during the stream, fucking, uh, he, he was trying to get Loni out of the mobile armor, Shamblu, the mobile armor Shamblu, which is, uh, she ends a, she gets a really fucked up ending in the manga, to be honest, like, she, she told her dad, like, hey, we, we shouldn't be doing this, right? And, uh... Her dad shoots her in the fucking dome. Like, straight up. Blows her brains out. I was like, holy shit. That's fucked up. But, uh, oh boy. I need I need to kill this Medea, like, ASAP. Get fucked. But, uh... The only reason he's go doing it is just to piss off Benadryl. Like, if I was Benadryl, I would have turned and blown his goddamn brains out right then and there. The moment he pulled the trigger on Loney... I would have just blown his fucking brains out because she opens up the cockpit, is getting out. The Shamblu is out of control because it's getting fueled by negative emotions at that point. He rips the fucking beam magnum out of the Gundam's hands, right? Fucking pulls the trigger and blows her away for no fucking reason. For no fucking reason. Even after she commanded the... Uh, those, uh, what are they called? I, I think they're still called bits. To block the attack. They, uh, blocked the Mega Particle Cannon because the Shamblu was uh, charging and firing the Mega Particle Cannon that it has. She commands it to stop, or to block it, and it does. And he still pulls the fucking Gundam Magnum out of uh, Unicorn's hands and blows her away, completely melting her. For no fucking reason. I don't like Riddy. Riddy's a piece of shit. And if I had my way, he'd be a dead some bitch. He is like everything that I hate. Like, oh boy, you don't like me, so I'm gonna fucking kill everybody. I'm gonna go and turn to the enemy side. Like, I wish 
he got blown up by the fucking, uh, the, uh, what do you call that goddamn thing? The solar array. 100% wished it. 100%. Wow, those things have some ridiculous side boost. But yeah, no, like, he, he doesn't deserve to live. I was so hoping he was gonna die. I mean, like, Marita, like, why, why did she, why did he have to kill Marita? Like, he, you're starting shit with everybody. Oh, you're gonna run away? Fuck face. And you, you're gonna start shit with everybody in the area just for no fucking reason. Kill Marita for no reason. Man, the, when Zimmerman had that happen, I actually felt bad for him. Not just for Marita, like, for him. Because that was, like, really fucked up. And it just, like... Ugh, I don't know, like... He is, like... Benandra, he's, like, a flat book. Like, you know, he he has... He's the typical anime character, like, you you just know how he's gonna act the moment you've seen him. And, but I can't fault him because that's kind of like how every Gundam, main Gundam guy is. But it's just like, it's kind of dumb. Uh, I hate these Gundam, Gundam ground types, man. They come in and then just fucking leave. These fucking Jim Garland types, I swear. Fuck out of here. These get these fucking Gundam ground types have like A plus accuracy, and I don't understand why. Oh, even though I was smacking his legs, I cut his feet off. I mean, not his chest off. Seems about right. Now nah, you ain't getting away now. Get bitch left. But, I don't know, like, I, I mean, I love Gundam, but, like, sometimes they do some of the stupid, or, like, oh, don't even get me on narrative, uh, not narrative, is it narrative? Yeah, narrative. God damn, narrative was terrible, like, whoever thought that movie was a good idea, need, like, needs to have their movie making a license revoked, because, Jesus. Like, okay, Benandra is a decent pilot, okay, but... Why have a silver bullet with unmodified arms to fire a beam magnum that the suit cannot seriously handle? Like, okay, what sense does that make? Tell me. You're gonna you're gonna tell me that you're gonna keep a like 15 spare arms on you at all fucking times just so you can use a weapon? Like what? Like that is like a special case of dumb if I've ever seen. Like you really have to be stupid. Why not just you like why not just strengthen the silver bullets arms to begin with? Take away the psycho commune uh, system, right? Or the uh, the wire guided system that it has. I think that's what it had. Yeah. Because it's wire it's uh, uh the way its arms are. So take that away and just give it the fucking uh, stronger arm so it can actually wield a weapon that you want it to use. And not have to fucking throw away your arms every shot. Like, that is the stupidest fucking... That is so stupid. Like, ugh. You get fucked by Mega Particle Beans, buddy. I don't know. Like, I'm sorry for bitching about that. But, like, whoever thought that was a good idea is, like, stupid. Like, come on. Surely you could... You should have thought that was... Like, if you think... Like, come on. That's dumb. Really dumb. There's another mission. New York. Enemy unit uh, in motion has been detected. Ambush them and protect uh, their projected course. Okay. Is there anything happening? Oh, wow. There's a lot of shit happening up here. Uh, support alley cruiser. Protect prototype mobile armor. The Zaccarello. That thing is ugly as balls. The big roll. <laughs> They're pulling out all the mobile armors. We will attack side seven, destroy enemy mobile suits. Okay, but why? That place should be fucking dead space. Anywho, that's it for today. We'll pick up back tomorrow. Still no new, uh, there's no mention of a GoFundMe yet. Rob's kind of kind of fighting that, but we're, we'll talk to him and hopefully we can convince him to activate a GoFundMe. Anywho, I hope you guys have a good night and I shall see you guys Wednesday.